لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه. None of you are true believers until you love for your fellow human beings, for your brother, what you love for yourself. What do I love for myself? MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. You know, it reminds me of an incident where they say that there was a man who was told that you will have whatever you ask for. And your friend, sorry, your enemy, the person you don't like, will be given double of what you ask. And this man was thinking, well, look, I've got an opportunity. If I say, no, I don't want because I'm going to be jealous of what my friend gets, I'm going to lose out. So he says, I'm caught in a situation. Let me just start asking for things, see what happens. He says, I want a mansion. I want a huge mansion. I wanted a huge mansion filled with the latest of everything. And suddenly it was there. And as he looked across the road, he saw his enemy with a double-sized mansion in front of him. <laughs> you got what you wanted. What's the point? Why worry about what someone else has got? You become depressed, not because you don't have enough, because... You are looking at what others have got, but you have enough. So then he says, okay, I want a mountain of gold and he gets it. And his friend gets two mountains of gold and he's saying, ah, come on, look at the dirty heart. So then he says, okay, you're going to give my enemy. It's the enemy actually double. Yes. Okay. I want you to scare me half to death. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. You can imagine what happened to the, to that enemy of his. That's how bad man is. But in Islam, when we say that we love for others what we love for ourselves, we really mean it. We will pray for them. We will, we will ask Allah to bless them, to grant them contentment. Remember, happiness does not come with figures. Happiness comes with contentment. Be content with what Allah has bestowed upon you. That does not mean don't work for more. No. Within the limits that Allah has allowed, you will work for more. It's not bad to have a lot of wealth but to allow that to mess your attitude and character is what is bad the best of people are those who have authority and wealth and they are more humble than those who don't have authority or wealth those are the best may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us strength